recording made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next SDL 2.0 tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be looking at uh, the SDL mixer so that we can actually load and play sounds in our applications. So what we're going to say is SDL 2.0 mixer and we want to go we want to scroll down to the development libraries uh, and download the one for your system and extract it. Once you're done that, you want to take the DLL files from the lib folder like we've done before and paste them in the debug folder like so. Then we want to go into Visual Studio, go to Project Properties. In the C++, uh, the General tab, we're going to locate the Include folder. And the linker in the General tab, we are in the additional library directories. We're going to specify the path to the lib folder. and Make sure you choose x86 if you're using a 32-bit version of Visual Studio or x86 x64 if you're using uh, the 64-bit of Visual Studio. It is not dependent on your operating system, it's dependent on the version of Visual Studio. Once you do that, you want to go to input and you want to put sdl2 underscore mixer dot lib and you're good to go. So. Uh, and if you're a Visual Studio uh, user, you can export the template. I think I showed that earlier on, but you can export the template so you don't have to redo this all the time. So anyways, we're going to include the SDL underscore mixer. And to utilize the mixer, we need to initialize it. So we're going to say init audio so we can at least load in and play sounds. Uh, another thing we also have to do is we have to open uh, the audio and so it takes four parameters the first is the frequency and that's the default frequency you can uh, look up frequency and stuff like that if you want um, to learn more about it the next is the format so we're just going to use the default format the next is the uh, the hardware channels so we're using two right now so that we can play the sound in stereo and the chunk size, we're just going to put uh, 2048, uh, which is equivalent to uh, 2 kilobytes. Uh, you may have to play around with this value, but what it basically does is it says, okay, when it's playing the sound, how how should it how it should split up the chunks of data? Uh, you might need to make it lower or higher, or depending on if you have like lag issues or if you have or whatever uh, you can play around with that value to see what works for you but I've used this value based on examples I've seen on the internet and this value uh, seems to be working for me so we're just gonna say if it's less than zero then we are just going to display an error message and just like with the other ones we're just gonna say mix get error so they all have their own uh, error based function so that you can actually get an error so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, there's there's mix there's mix underscore music for that's meant for like longer files like background music or so on and so forth so we're just going to put BGM and we have mix chunk so that's more for sound effects and so on and so forth so the general rule is if something is if it's something is uh, longer than 10 seconds, you'll make it a music. You make it mix underscore music. If it's less, then you'll make it mix underscore chunk. Uh, that's just the general rule across all um, across all APIs. It's not it's not law, right? So maybe you will want um, something something that's longer than 10 seconds to be a chunk. It's not law, but just a general rule if you don't know where to start. Uh, so with the uh, the mix music BGM to load in music we're gonna say mix underscore load MUS now the supported file formats for music are wave uh, mod MIDI AUG mp3 and FLAC so right now I have a, a mp3 file in my in my project folder the same the same place where you put your images that's where you put um, your sound and if you want me to show you I have uh, this right here, so bgm.mp3. And for this, we're just gonna say sound effect, and we're gonna say uh, load wave. So those says load wave. It has uh, you can support wave, AIFF, riff, AUG, and VOC. VOC. 
file formats but we're just going to load raindrop.wave I think that's what the file is called water drop so uh, we've loaded in the, the two files now before we even forget this what we're gonna do is we're gonna say mix underscore quit so we close the mix and we want to free the resources that we use so mix underscore free chunk it's the sound effect and, and mix underscore free music and that's the background music and we're gonna say BGM was null pointer sound effect equals to null pointer okay so uh, I've done that first so that I don't forget to include that uh, with you guys so now we're gonna say okay if event if the event type is equal to SDL key down then we're gonna say switch and we're gonna get the key whoa what's happening why is oh it should be else if switch EV sorry I just had to pause that I had a mini heart attack I thought I that I just missed the tutoring appointment sorry about that um so anyways we're gonna say ev uh, key uh, key dot key sym sym and then we're going to I guess I think sym might mean symbol I'm really not too sure um but we're gonna say okay if they press the p key uh, that's what we want to do so we're gonna say okay if mix mix underscore playing music so it's sorry so we're going to check if it's playing music right and it returns an integer value so if it's set to zero it means that it's not playing or so you could say if not playing music it's up to you turn one whichever one you want to do so if we're not playing music, we actually want to play music. So we're going to say mix, play music, and then we have to put in the music that we actually want to play. So we want to play the background music, and this lets us know how many times we want to loop it. Now we're just going to put negative one. That means we, it, we're going to continuously loop it until we tell it to stop. So we're going to say, okay, else if. So if the music is playing and you press uh, the P button, we're gonna say okay else if uh, music if mix uh, paused music let's just say that so if the music is paused then we're gonna resume it so we're gonna say music mix resume music and then we're gonna say that's it then we're just gonna have else we're gonna say mix pause music and then we're gonna put break and then in another case we're gonna put sorry we're gonna say SDLK and we're gonna put S for stop so if they press stop we're gonna say mix halt music and that's gonna stop it so basically what's gonna go on is it's gonna say okay if the music is not playing then we're gonna play the music right uh, if the else if, if the music is actually if it's paused if it's set to paused then we're gonna say okay resume music else if it's none of these two then we want to pause it so resume plays it from the pause position right and play will just play it from the beginning and when we say halt what halt is gonna do is just it stops it and then puts the play position to the beginning um, to the very beginning and sorry I have to put this inside the switch statement and yeah so let's run this to see if it actually works so I'm gonna press uh, P now I don't know if I had it to record the system audio so let me plug out my headphones let me retry it again so I don't know if you guys can hear that just the game music for so that was just the game music for the background music for my game uh, drunk uh, driving frenzy sorry 
on App Store and the Play Store. So if you guys haven't checked that out yet, uh, feel free to, to check track. Uh, sorry, to check that out. So that's how to play music. So now we actually want to play uh, some of the sound effects. So this is how we do it. So we're gonna say, um, let's say. Case SDLK. Uh, let's just say if they press the number one, we want to play something. So we're gonna say mix underscore play channel. Now uh, let me move this down so you can at least see what the parameters are. So it takes a channel, it takes a chunk, and it takes uh, it takes a loop. So uh, basically, for sound effects, they they play on a channel this channel is not a hardware channel just these sound effects uh, play at different channels and so if you wanted to modify one sound effect you would know which sound effect you're modifying just by specifying which channel it's on so if you say okay play the sound effect and set the channel zero whenever you edit the sound effect you just say okay the sound effect at channel zero uh, you want it to stop or you want it to pause or something like that for this case, we just want to put in the next available channel so we can just put negative one. And for the chunk, that's asking for the sound effect. So let's put sound effect in there. And for the loops, it asks us how much we want to loop it. We want to loop it zero times. And we're just going to put break. So let's run this. And we're going to say one. And I don't know if you can hear that, but it's a water drop. And so it plays it and doesn't loop it. So if we were to put this to say two, so I pressed it once and it played it. it played it three times actually. So I guess start from zero. So it played it three times when you put the value two. So it's a number plus one. So let's say for example you had multiple sounds and you wanted to, to and we had this at channel one and you wanted to stop this at channel one. You would say something like mix halt channel and then you put in the channel number and it knows okay this sound effect is playing on channel one so stop it. So halt. And that's basically how it works. Uh, so uh, that's basically for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to like my page on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Also, don't forget to sign up on my website for the forum and some other cool stuff. So that's it, and bye for now.